Hello YouTube world, this is Logic Crazy, and I'm Jonathan and here is yet another tutorial on creating a Java chess engine. Now we are finally getting off of the uh, graphical end of things and focusing on the nitty gritty uh, aspects of a chess engine and specifically the rating. Now I must say that of that there are two most uh, important uh, things of an engine. I mean, everything's important. The way you represent the board, which we have done a, a bad job of, a razor, never the way to go, I must say, um, but uh, especially in Java. But anyways, we'll get to that another time maybe, but uh, really important is the search function. If you can make that thing prune fast, prune more items that are unnecessary to look at, or um, rate it faster, uh, or better, more accurately, those are the two really, really key aspects. Um, I hate to say one is more important than the other, but both of those are just essentially central things, and they're really what make, uh, define uh, a, a, a good engine from a brilliant one. Um, now, I must say that a chess engine will never rate as good as a human can rate a board. I want to show you one classic example that uh, came to my mind off the top of my head. Uh, there might be more, um, but uh, I want to show you one position that uh, has always stuck in my mind. Um, suppose uh, black has, you know, <clears throat> um, uh, a huge advantage over here. Um, now, obviously, in this position, the engine would be correct in saying that uh, black has the advantage, and obviously a winning game. But let me add an even number of pawns for each position. Let's just go in some sort of diagonal there. You can make it a huge V, whatever you want. Um, different, it doesn't really matter, but you're just trying to get a diagonal view. A view so that, a way so that none of the pawns can capture each other, no matter whose turn it is. Um, but they create a solid wall. Now I want to show you something. Uh, black can, or white's piece is, can never, white's king can never, pawns cannot move. They're all paralyzed. And, and the king can never get here or here or here because of the pawns defending those locations. So this is an impenetrable wall for white. Same with the black kings. Uh, uh, anyways, he can never get in positions such as this or this one, um, purely because um, uh, the white piece to defend him. But you will notice that the rating game, no matter where I move the pieces, um, let me just stop it, says that this is an obvious game, that white is definitely going to lose the game. But we can just look at it and say it's an impenetrable wall. Same with rooks coming into places like this. Um, I could breach the wall by taking it with a pawn, but if white would rather just guarantee a tie, it doesn't need to take. It can just keep moving around its king. And the rooks can never penetrate through. It's not like it's a bishop or anything that can take. And so um, this is actually, if you think about it, a neutral position. Sure, there's more material, but it's impenetrable. And the engine, though, is searching all sorts of lines, hundreds of lines, never really getting through this barricade, but um, it still says, hey, in the end, after searching many probable lines, black always comes out materially superior. But we know material is irrelevant in this position. And so I just wanted to show you this because uh, I don't believe an engine will ever be able to uh, assess this uh, as neutral. Uh, perhaps they will, but they, they lack a bit of uh, sense. They look at specific lines, and we're not looking at any specifics. We're just looking at generalities and saying, you know what, this is an impenetrable, no matter who moves where. It doesn't matter. And so uh, material, we would say, would not matter, but a computer always uh, attributes a lot of uh, its rating to material. Material makes a big difference in the a computer rating system, as it should. So I just wanted to show you this as a classic example of where an engine is incorrect. And you can never expect an engine to be perfect in this rating, and that's why it searches 
far deeper than the average human to try to overcome this weakness. All right, so let's focus here on the rating. The first thing I would like to do is create another Java class, uh, and we'll call it rating. Now, the reason I'm creating a separate class just for rating is because this is an area that can always be expanded. There are just hundreds of great methods to come up with uh, ways of, of figuring out ratings, and it's something that will ever be expanded and tweaked upon, and you might not like the way I do it. In fact, I know of some things that I can improve upon, and, uh, and I eventually will. And so uh, we're just going to make that a separate thing. And so then we have this rating... Uh, thing which returns zero all the time. I'm just going to get rid of that which will produce an error and place that in the rating system here. And so over here we now have to call in rating dot rating. A little redundant it looks like, but this way uh, basically you never want uh, one class, you know, just for scrollability or whatever and, and it's a separate it's a separate function to itself and so this is uh, more uh, object-oriented programming style uh, a little bit going to a separate class here. So uh, we don't want to return zero no matter what the position is. We want to return a few basic things. And uh, won't get very far in this tutorial, but uh, there's a few key things we want to, to address. I'm just going to duplicate this. Let's see, maybe four things or so that we want to address. And uh, one of them would be uh, rate attack. We want to rate the attack. Um, who's attacking who? Uh, that sort of thing. We also want to rate the material. That is important. Um, rating the movability. Now, in the movability, we'll also include things like checkmate, which means there are no moves, or stalemate, again, no moves possible. But also movability is how flexible am I? Is my king in a place where he can't, doesn't have an exit strategy? Those sort of things, you know? Um, and we'll also rate, uh, rate positional. Um, oh, I misspelled that. There we go, rate positional. And the rating positional will uh, say, you know, it's better if the king in the end game is in the middle of the board, but it's not good for the king to be in the middle of the board uh, in mid game or opening. And uh, things like that. And those are just generalities to help it uh, along, but they are not always the case. And some things like uh, some programs such as uh, Rebecca has been, uh, it has been suggested that they uh, rate positional based on if statements. If it's in this sort of case, for instance, if there's a queenside attack maybe, then take this positional generality into effect. So instead of always saying it's generally not a good idea for king to be in the middle in the mid game, maybe there's an exception. And so it put if statements and uh, fine tune its positionality uh, feature. Um, anyway, uh, and what we will do for the, uh, uh, for the rating function is we will create an, uh, a counter, uh, variable, and, um, we'll set that to zero for now, and then we will say counter plus, oops, plus equals rate attack, and then, uh, and then at the end we'll do return, whoops, return counter, um, something like this. So we'll do add rate attack, and then uh, add rate material, and rate, um, oh, I should make this capital, um, Rate movability and rate 
positional, and then we will do a oh an alpha beta chess dot flipboard, and then we will subtract all the values that the other side has. Um, and so basically, when we rate the material, it just checks for capital uh, or white materials, and then it flips it and subtracts black. So it adds up white material and subtracts blacks and so on. So each one of these functions will only be looking at one color, just like we've been doing with our whole engine. Using this flipboard, uh, it is possible to program without using this flipboard. It would be much faster, but I believe that this is uh, more easy to uh, uh, understand and to tweak and such. All right, so that is basically what we're going to do. And so obviously this will return a zero because it's adding and subtracting zeros to zero. Um, and it will make the same moves. But uh, later on we will fill all of these functions. And there are many more other suggested ideas and things that we will be talking about later on. But this will get us started in coming up with a, uh, a rating system that comes up with a, a generally good uh, system. So we haven't really got started into the rating, but I've uh, just uh, provided an outline for you guys. So until next time, enjoy Java.